two going into overtime. For decades, he's traveled all over the world for the amazing race, but he's also celebrating America's hardworking heroes on the hit CBS show Tough as Nails. Host and executive producer Phil Kogan joins us now live in studio. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me on. I'm yeah. so excited to talk about Tough as Nails anytime. Yeah, well, congratulations on season five. And so tell us what's happening on Tough as Nails. Well, uh, interestingly, we're airing the show on Fridays and Sunday nights. So people are kind of, it's like a mini binge in a way because yeah. you get two episodes every week. We were in uh, Los Angeles for the first four seasons and then for season five, and just with everything becoming a little easier working with uh, without the COVID restrictions, yeah. we decided to go to uh, Canada. And we went to a place called Hamilton, which is known as the Hammer or Steel Town. It's just outside Toronto. And uh, as you can see from this footage, this is them actually picking up apples in an orchard. And um, yeah, we celebrate the hardworking men and women uh, of uh, of North America because we've allowed Canadians to compete this season as well and it's really a way of, of honoring the people that keep our country running and that's why I think it's resonated with people like during the pandemic we yeah. suddenly had a new appreciation for the people who helped keep the lights on and make sure that the grocery stores were stocked up and that we could flush our toilets and that things functioned. Absolutely. And so these are those people, hardworking men and women of North America, the best of the best. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about this season's cast. Wow, this season is definitely the most elite. You know, adding Canadians is an extra 30 million people to choose yeah. from. Um, so we have four Canadians out of the cast of 12. And what makes Tough as Nails different from other shows is we have two mutually exclusive competitions. We have an individual competition where people compete to become the Tough as Nails champion. Okay. But anybody who punches out of that competition, they still stay on the show because we have a team competition, two teams of six that go up against each other. And so everybody has a chance to win money. Nobody goes home empty handed. So yeah, we're running these two mutually exclusive competitions side by side. And I think that's another part of why the show has resonated because great characters that maybe get eliminated early on some reality shows, you spend months, sometimes years casting these people. And then sometimes they can be out in the first episode. Right. Whereas on Tough as Nails, you get to know everybody. And it also creates this great opportunity for redemption where someone oh. maybe gets eliminated early from the individual, but then they step up big time for their team. And ultimately, most of the people that we have on our show, they, can, they work in teams. You know, they work on a gang on, the, on a uh, construction site or they work on a farm with people. So they're used to being part of a team. I love that. Yeah, you get so attached to some of these people That's you see on these thing. shows, and then you're like, oh, they're gone, and you're not sure you want to watch anymore. It's so this exactly keeps right. Hooked. It's, it's exactly right. And also, just from a producing standpoint, you have the ability to change the way that you uh, share people's stories. Because right. you don't have to rush everything early if they're going to get eliminated right. early, like jam everything into the first episode or first two episodes. You have a, an opportunity to pace out those 12 stories throughout a season because uh, nobody's going home. Okay, so tell us about, about the next season of this, of, pardon me, about The Amazing Race. Um, what is coming up and where are you guys going to be? Well, we, we're really excited be, for, for the fall because we're actually going to be running Amazing Race as a 90-minute episode. We're, we're going to do, be doing them in 90-minute episodes along with Survivor. So we're going to be dovetailing Survivor and Amazing Race in the fall back-to-back 90-minute -back episodes. So we just got back from shooting uh, our latest season. Um, I still can't quite believe that we've been doing, we've done 36 seasons. So uh, almost a quarter of a century I've been working on this show. Um, wow. It's such a, a, such a privilege and um, it's a show that's just resonated and to still be relevant after more than two decades uh, on a show uh, like Amazing Race is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to be involved in something like that. Yeah, well you guys always keep it interesting. So can you tell us some of the locations? Uh, I don't know if I can, oh, I, but I, okay. uh, we, do, we do, we do go, um, I, I signed some piece of paper that said something about, don't say this, don't say that. Okay, don't I, get I, you in I, trouble. I don't know if I read the fine print, but I can tell you that, um, we, we do go to some countries that we've never been to before on Amazing Race. We've been to about a hundred in the last 20 something years, um, traveled over a million miles, but th those are my, mo for me, it's just exciting to go somewhere new and different that teams have never been to before. Because it's just, you know, it's like we're opening up the world, we're sharing the world with people, and, and for them to be able to see the, the most incredible places around the world for the comfort of their, 
favorite chairs. By the way, these chairs are very comfortable too. <laughs> I was just thinking I could sit here all day in this chair. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're enjoying talking to you. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it up. But just yeah, and you have to you. kick me out yeah, of here. I know. I, know. I've heard. I know. I mean, you can hang out if yeah. you want. But yeah. No, <laughs> um, thank you so much for having me, and I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, we loved having you. Thank you so much. And Tough as Nails airs Fridays and Sundays at 8 p.m. on CBS. You can find out more information by going to kcalnews.com and clicking on Seen on TV.